welcome to a class of Read Rhyme Rhythm, the summer reading program at Watertown Library. I'm Miss Beth. Today's theme is Big and Little. My first story is called I'm the Biggest Thing in the Ocean, and it's written by Kevin Sherry. He is also the illustrator, so he also drew all the pictures you're going to see. So we're going to open this up, and right over here it says, I am a giant squid, and maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm pretty big. I'm bigger than this page. I'm bigger than this book. I dare you to find anything bigger than me. Even on the back, he says, I'm bigger than this barcode. This is a fun story. Here we go. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm a giant squid, and I'm big. Big he is. I'm bigger than these shrimp. I'm bigger than these clams. I'm bigger than this crab. Ouch. I'm bigger than that jellyfish. I'm bigger than these turtles. I'm even bigger than this octopus. I'm bigger than that shark. Shh. I'm bigger than this fish. Now watch this, this is so fun. And that fish, this fish, and that fish. He's so big. I'm make sure I get that all back in there. Good. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Oh no, oh no. So where is that giant squid now? Inside the whale. And there's everything that he was telling you he's bigger than. And how is he feeling? So worried. Now watch. Now look at his face. He's kind of going, hey. And then you hear him. I'm the biggest thing in this world. <laughs> That's the end. Isn't that funny? I love that story. Our second story for Read Rhyme Rhythm is Evermore Dragon. This is also a story about big and little, but it's also about friendship. It's a very, I just love this story too. This is written by Barbara, and I think it's pronounced Jose, Josie, J-O-O-S-S-E. And the pictures are by Randy Cecil. Evermore Dragon. This story has rhyming in it, and it also plays with words and has fun with them and the sounds that they can make. So enjoy. Once there was a girl, a very little girl, and there was a dragon, a very big old dragon. They were friends. Look, she's riding on his back. At the wake of Dairy Day, the friends decided what to play. Hide and seek? Hide and seek. Okay, okay. Dragon jumped up and down, made a rum below sound. Goody, goody, goody. Me first. Girl, 
closed her eyes so Dragon could hide. Dragon found a little rock, such a very little rock, and he curled his dragon self, his drag normal self, into a dragon ball, which wasn't, no, it wasn't small at all. Girl opened her eyes. There was dragon, yo-ho. But she climbed up a tree. Oh, where can dragon be? And she peeked inside his lair. No, he isn't there. And she stood upon a rock, such a very little rock. And she sighed a little sigh, such a very little sigh. Oh my, dragon's so good at hiding. I'm not sure I can find him. What to do? Boo! Girl wrapped her arms around him, so everly around him. Oh dragon, you're so clever. You're the smartest dragon ever. And he knew it was true. Now you. Girl ran and ran and ran. She's going far. To a far away place, such a hidey hole place. And she didn't make a sound, not a single little sound. And she waited for dragon, so long for dragon to be found by dragon. And she stretched and she yawned and <gasps> dragon looked everywhere, every here, every there, in the leaves of the trees, from the log in the bog, off the ridge of the bridge. No, girl. Girl, bellowed dragon. Are you lost? Bellowed dragon. And she was. Girl woke and it was night. Deep, deep, dark night. No stars, no moon, no castle, no room no best friends together, just girl. Came the cricking and the cracking, came the flipping and the flapping, came the moaning and the groaning. Are there monsters in the night? Oh, she tried so not to cry, but she cried silver tears, worry, worry tears. And her heart thumped a sound, a tremble sound that only dragon friends, very, very special friends, can hear. Girl, thundered dragon, I hear you, thundered dragon. And he breathed his dragon fire and it lit up the sky, made a bright night sky, and he flew through the night. All right. Girl, roared dragon. I am here, roared dragon. And he was. Dragon wrapped his wings around her, so everly around her. I am here, rumbled dragon. You're a deer, whispered girl. Dragon held her and he sang, evermore, evermore, I am here. She knew it was true. Isn't that a fun story? 
we're gonna do a little dance now. It's called the Tale of Two Villages because there's two different sounds you hear. One is like a giant, very loud and big, and one is small like a villager, very tiny and light. So make sure you have some room to move in. And if you want, you can have a scarf or a ribbon or a small towel would work or a bandana, something to dance with. I have to move a little bit for just a sec. But I'm coming back. First, I'm gonna move this up. Here I come. Whoopsie. Take this up. There, and then I'm gonna tip it up just a little. Okay, let's see how that is. If I go here, then you can see me. Okay. I'm gonna put my music on and I'm gonna get some scarves. I decided to have one for each hand. You can have just one. You can have none. It's okay, whatever you wanna do. Listen to the music and dance with me to the two different sounds. Dance big when the music's big and dance little when the music's little.